Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the game that is just as addicting as Minecraft. And here we are, we're in version 0.13.1. Uh, it's a, a little, little bit of an update for performance, they say, and it's going to be the last update before version 0.14, where they're going to start charging a pre-order. Uh, so this is the last free version that you can, you can download, and you can do so at the website in the video description. I believe it's KerbalSpaceProgram.com. Uh, a few of you messaged me that you had problems with the download, and I certainly did as well when you, for whatever reason, you first download it and the, the zip file was corrupted or something. Uh, so I deleted that, downloaded it a second time from the same site, same source, and it works. So if you have problems like that, just give it a, a few more tries and, and maybe you'll get lucky and uh, the zip file will unzip properly. But regardless of that, uh, there, are, there are bigger issues at stake today because we are going to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and to do the other things, not because they're easy, but because they are hard. And that is my best, worst JFK impersonation. Uh, so yes, start the game, get beyond my crappy impersonations, and I am going to build a moon rocket. I'm still in the vanilla version of the game. I would like to at least be able to orbit and then return from the moon with the vanilla parts and physics and everything. Um, I, I've heard all of your messages as well that yes, you can land on the moon and then get off the moon and return home with the vanilla, vanilla items. Uh, I might try that eventually, I'm not sure, but I'm, I just want to figure out how to orbit and then return from the moon. Uh, so I'm going to start from scratch here with a brand new rocket. Uh, my previous design I don't think is going to work. Uh, so I'm going to start building here, and I, for the last few few rockets I've been skipping the design part, so I think I'm going to include you guys uh, include you guys in that, in my process uh, from here on out. I'm going to, I'm obviously not going to show you the whole thing, it takes quite a while to build a rocket and design, uh, but as you can see I'm putting my capsule way up high because I'm anticipating this needing to be a gigantic rocket. Um, and I'm also I'm not really restricting myself, but uh, I'm, I'm going to be trying to make this rocket as if it's like the Saturn V, and I'm only going to be using liquid fuel rockets. I'm going to avoid the solid fuel rockets. Uh, it might be necessary if I can't do it that I'll have to bring them in, but uh, I'm going to try to kind of uh, model this after the Saturn V. Uh, I might need more rockets than five, but I'm just going to have kind of a big towering liquid fuel rocket going on here. So yeah, here's our where we basically start as usual with our capsule and then our disconnect for the capsule. Um, I'm going to need uh, a lot of you told me also that uh, if I have this advanced SAS, then I don't need any other SAS. This does the job of controlling uh, every part of the rocket on down. So I don't need to be wasting weight and parts on uh, other just minor SAS modules. Uh, so I'll take your word for it and give it a shot, but uh, but yeah, let's do that. Our upper stage is going to have to be pretty big uh, because I used two fuel tanks just to get into orbit and then to return from orbit in those previous two missions. So my upper stage I'm going to turn into three, three fuel tanks. Uh, one, I guess, suppose to leave Earth orbit. Another. Uh, to slow down and enter m moon orbit, and then another, hopefully, that will get me back to Earth and then deorbit me for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Well, not Earth. God, I keep calling it Earth. Kerbin. This is Kerbin. Uh, slightly smaller. The moon isn't as far as away as far away as it is here on Earth, but uh, st still, a, still a challenge. No, no doubt about that. Um, I'm going to, since this stage is only going to be used in space, use the less powerful rocket. And uh, I also just found out that the smaller of the rockets also has uh, thrust vectoring, the gimbling. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that means the rocket actually tilts back and forth to kind of use for steering. Uh, that's going to be important later. I think I'm going to have to use these on my first stage uh, because uh, without the solid rocket boosters or you know gigantic wings in my previous designs, that's what's going to keep me stable during launch. Uh, but of course, they are slightly less powerful than the bigger ones without gimbling, so uh, we'll have to we'll have to check out uh, what we can do with that. Not that much less powerful, but less powerful enough. Uh, I'm also going to need some of these RCS. 
Oh, I need an RCS uh, fuel derp. Uh, will one be enough? That is the question. Um, I suppose I can try with just one RCS fuel tank. I'm not doing any major things. So let's put that. Th oh, symmetry. I need my symmetry. Boop, 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 boop. And, oh, get, where did it go? There it is. Uh, so yeah, I might be, I might be cutting in and out uh, at various stages of rocket design because I know it's not immensely interesting, but, uh, but yeah. Let us do, 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 do. Right there seems like a good enough spot. And now let's start planning the second stage. All right, I'm back, and right away into my second stage, I'm gonna go into the the three tricoupler doohickey, uh, and then three uh, fuel tanks, three sets of three fuel tanks. And dang it, these things are a little bit buggy. These supports, uh, even when you use the symmetry option, you like attach one, and then it doesn't duplicate itself to the other one. So let me try to figure this business out, this jazz, if you will. All right. That's there, that's there, that's there, okay. And then uh, I've got coming down to the big engines and I have three more couplers. Uh, I'm going to try to get, because unfortunately I can't attach these this close to each other, they just, they don't fit. Uh, so there's no way to go from three to like five or six, uh, unless you do all of the wiring and piping yourself, which might be what I have to do here. So. Uh, I think what I've got to do, let me actually first name this something. Uh, somebody suggested I call the, the moon, uh, obviously it was the, the Saturn V. Uh, so let me call this the, the Farlander. Uh, depending on how many, how many rockets I have at the bottom will determine what number it is. So let's save the Farlander rocket uh, and then figure out what I need to do here uh, for fuel. So we've got that, got that. I got, I don't know if I should go for four on the bottom. Cause I need a lot of fuel to get to the moon. Oh Lord, I have no idea how stable that's going to be. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I can attach, hmm. Hmm. Let me, before I do that, let me attach some supports so these guys don't fly apart. Uh, yeah, see, I gotta do this one at a time because the symmetry goes to hell. Let me just do that to that. I just don't want them flying to pieces. Do, oh, I need to see the other side. That to that. And one last one. Uh, that to that. Okay. Um, now I'm going to try, see if I bring in another fuel tank and I want to squeeze them in between these two, it automatically wants to get attached to one or the other. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a little crazy, but I'm going to try, come on, attach, damn you. There, uh, like that. All right, that's about sort of kind of even. Um, I wonder if the symmetry works with this. Let's find out. No. Yeah, see, I got to do uh, this one at a time. It's kind of annoying. I wish there was a way. See right here, if I just have this part over here, I can't start adding parts to it. I wish there was a way, and maybe there will be in a future version of the game, to like assemble parts on the side and then bring them in uh, just because once I start covering all this up I lose part of that uh, the uh, the view in order to assemble these items but uh, we'll see how this goes and I will bring you back in when I figure out what the hell I'm doing
All right, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm making progress here. I'm adding the, the additional fuel tanks, which will hold the additional rockets to the sides of these fuel tanks. And what I'm having to do, just speaking of that problem I was having where I would like to build parts on the side and then bring them in, uh, what I'm having to do is actually attach four more rockets, not rockets, but four more fuel tanks to the bottom here of a pre-existing fuel tank, uh, just because I was having problems connecting them on the side there. Uh, now that I have this built, I can disconnect it as a piece and then attach it to the side like I want it and hopefully get them all lined up properly. So yeah, now I can attach it to the side, say right there. Uh, that one's a little bit, no, that's pretty much even. And I'm kind of staggering them like that because in the middle, I'm going to have the big old rockets for power. Uh, then we do that, that, and that. But then on the outside, I'm going to have the gimbal, the gimbaling rockets, which will hopefully provide me the stability I need during launch of this gigantic, tall, heavy rocket. There we go. Uh, they're a little bit low. I might have to bring those up just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, and then I need to. Uh, another pain in the ass thing is going to get all these, I've got to get all these similar beams, uh, support beams to go across all of these just because I don't want them ripping off or wobbling away. So i got to do that. So I'll bring it back in and then uh, I think with that, it's a pretty simple rocket design, but with that I should be ready. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring you back in when I'm there. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think I have a proper rocket here to go to the moon. Uh, I've named it the Farlander 6, naturally because I have six main engines, but coming down from the top stage, we have a beefy second stage, and then our gigantic first stage here, which, uh, as you can see, has... How many do I got? Eight, 16, 24... <laughs> 24 fuel tanks, which is uh, hopefully should get us off the ground. And then, like I mentioned already, I have uh, three main engines, which are the robust heavy engines, and then three uh, more gimbaling engines, uh, which hopefully should keep us steady. I'm going to be risky and not put any wings on it, uh, just because that's extra weight, and I'm a little bit concerned already uh, if these six engines are going to be capable of getting me off the ground. Uh, so I might have to do some tweaking. Uh, I'm hoping this works out right. I've got uh, all these firing at the same time. I suppose one thing I have to be careful about, because these smaller engines don't burn at the rate that these larger ones do, uh, these fuel tanks might run out before these outside ones do. So uh, we'll see if that becomes an issue. <laughs> Trial and error. Uh, but enough of this. Let's head to the launch pad. Holy crap, I can't even fit the whole thing on the screen. There we go. Uh, a little bit wobbly. A little bit concerned about that. Uh, let's do that. Oh god, I'm going to tip over before I even launch. Okay, uh, here we go. On our maiden voyage to orbit the moon. I'm going to turn on SAS. And T minus six, five, four, three, two, one. G -g 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 and I'm too heavy. Oh God! Oh dear Lord! Bail out. Okay. Well, that was a problem. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Um, that was the first time I killed the astronauts, I suppose. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there is a problem of too much weight. Uh, <laughs> back to the vehicle assembly building. Oh, mercy. Uh, <laughs> okay. So. Lesson number one don't have too much weight. Uh, I suppose... Uh, I think if I start changing everything, everything is going to break. So I kind of have to start over from scratch here, don't I? What if... 
I kind of started the lift off. What if I just remove that? <laughs> Let's see what that does. We move these guys down. I need that to be four of them. I was like really close to lifting off. It really wanted to, but it did not. Uh, oh, get out of here. Um, hmm. I could replace all of these with the more powerful rockets, but then I won't have any... Oh, yeah, see, I just changed something and all of these connections broke. Fantastic! Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to take some time to fix this, and then we will try again. Uh, this episode might be getting long. I might... I don't know what I'm going to do. I might cut it off here, or I might just make this really long episode, so we'll see. And I'll bring you back in when I have a refined rocket design. So, be back in a minute. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. See what just happened there? I just disconnected this part to make an adjustment, and it totally broke everything underneath it. And then you go to put it back. And I've lost all of my extra fuel tanks. That's annoying. Um, yeah, this might take longer than anticipated, so I, I'll, I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you guys that. <laughs> Uh, hello? Hello? My rocket is radioactive. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think I may or may not have crashed the game by having too large of a rocket. Uh, so now I need to restart.